Cotswolds, the glorious Cotswolds. We're using this book as a guide, Walking the Cotswolds with Children by David Redith. And this is the plan. Here's Dagnumworth. This is the main A417 in Gloucester to Sirencester Road, so we're just off the side of that. Won't worry us. And we're going to walk round the back here, cross out through there, Duntisbourne Rouse, middle of Duntisbourne, and back. Simples. <laughs> Well, today's adventure then is a walk in the Cotswolds, taken from a book called Cotswold Walks with Children. My wife said it suits me. The principal reason that I use that book is because of mileage. It keeps the mileage down, which with my Parkinson's issues suits me very well. So this one's Daglingworth or Daglington, Daglingworth in the Cotswolds. Should be beautiful. Come with me, we'll take a look. The little tackling with. Yeah, quite pretty at the start, anyway. Don't like the spiders around here very much. It's on the big side. Dacklingworth Church. Will be closed unfortunately. You've got to be laid to rest. As good a place as any, I suppose. Oh, shady spot for these guys. Okay, onward. Buy a converted barn, look for a stile, by a farm gate. Rather a fine conversion, looks like. That will be there, but they don't look too keen on walkers, do they? Oh, I beg their pardon. There's the walk notice. Ancient old style. Aim for a conifer between two cottages. Right then. That'll be there. Down here and through there. Then across there. Up the steps. Crikey, it's more like a ladder. Oh. I did say squeezed. Oh, I'm glad we're not that side of the wall. 
especially since they're suckling cows there. Not the best place to be. That's a looking herd. The old bull there in attendance. Another one of these. A mighty fine day. Okay. Off down here then. That way of posting. And we're making a left. Let's look about the way we've just come. Now we're moving on. Bouncing backwards there for a while. Okay. Ooh. Some loose woolies. I bet you're not supposed to go out here. I'm going to work out how you got out, see if you can work out how to get back in again. My birth will need to sort it out amongst yourselves. Oh, a bit cooler in here. I wonder what they were. Don't seem too worried. Walking downhill. Uh, I'm sure this isn't the way we're supposed to be going. We should have gone behind some cottages, not in front of them. But then we we're supposed to have gone through a gate. And there was no gate. Well, not across the road anyway. So we're backtracking now. See if we can sort it out. Well, it brings us back to here where there is a choice. Sadly not mentioned in the instructions. And they were slightly behind me is my excuse. But uh, we went public footpath, I think we should go public bridleway. Which indeed takes us behind the cottages. Mm, subtle clue. Through a gate, it's a bit more like it. Ooh. Nothing to latch it on to. Weird. Looking back, that's quite a climb for an old person. Sheltered by ash trees, well that looks about right. Okay, pity it's uphill but then it would be wouldn't it? Just as you're getting uh, tired out going the wrong way. Alright, let's keep going. And crop out here. Blowing up a bit. Field ends by a magnificent beech tree. Yeah, I'll give you that.
Right, on the forward. Fortunately, we have an alternative. The Chettlestone House, it has changed the name, that's helpful. Right. First. Well, they're not doing a terribly good job, I suppose better than nothing. Because of the angle of the church, there's apparently a kind of basement section. It's very, very ancient. And it's an altar. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't need that, yeah. I've got you. Say again? I don't need that, I've got you. <laughs> Excellent. Now we, um, yeah, my uh, my wife and I discovered this about five years ago. Yeah. Where are you from? Originally from the northeast, but I've been in Swindon for 16 years. Somebody has to live there, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, not for much longer. I'm actually going to be with that, out with in the next week. Are you? Yeah, I'm just paying this a final visit before I go. Wow. But uh, but yeah, as I've seen, there's there's a a sign at the top. Eh? Yeah. Saying it's a 12th okay. 12th century. Yeah. Um, that's been replaced with a new sign. It doesn't mention the 12th century church, but there's right. a nice new sign up there. But, uh... I'll give it a look. Thank you. Steps there you would imagine lead to the main church. Good Lord. I thought this was flagstone floor and it's actually a huge gravestone. This is what original churches would have been like, I imagine. And this goes back to the 1200s and the main church, the 1600s. Good Lord. Original lintel, do you think? That's never been there since 1200. Wow, what a find. Okay. Time to go. That's Sundial. Yes, I think it is. Right, we leave the church behind and the gentleman there with his memories. And we'll head that way. Well, I was about to demonstrate the lovely shadows across the road and the sun's gone in. Well, nearly. The church was in Duntisbourne Race and we're now going to Middle Duntisbourne. Next one in the chain if you like. Starting with Daglin. Well, certainly dropping down cracky.
a snippy little village, and then we head back. Right, well, no point putting it off any longer. Head home. Oh, I think that'll do it. I'm missing a small field section out, mainly because it's in the bottom of a valley. I know at some stage there's going to have to be quite a scramble to get out. So I'm heading back on the road, part of the walk on the road anyway, I'll head back this way. I have to say I love it in here in the Cotswolds. I mean, look at that view. Look at that road with the shadows and well, fluffy clouds. Can't beat it, can you? I did envisage when I started this uh, channel that I would be showing a lot more Cotswold walks since it's my one of my favourite destinations. But it hasn't turned out that way. Seems to be more or less uh, railways and canals have taken over a lot of it. But anyway, this was a Cotswold walk. If you want to see more, look on my channel. And there's uh, some more up there. And if you could subscribe, like or share, that would be wonderful. That would certainly help. Uh, I'm going to amble back now in a contemplative mood. Contemplative is the word. <laughs> is that a word? If there's anything uh, of value, I'll fill you in. So maybe don't go just yet. And if not, I'll see you on the next one. That's Dentist Ball Rouse, where the churchyard was. Oh, this is us. I think it feels a lot longer than that, to be honest, but there you go. Can't argue. A Cotswolds Valley. Nice scent of the dogwood here. Well, this beats walking along the road. Up here, good. Enjoy the traffic fumes from up here. Well, I really enjoyed that. 